Now, as you boys know, the whole point of my channel is for dudes to feel great and feel confident about themselves and like how they look. Now, there are going to be certain instances where nature's going to fight against you and you're going to have to deal with problems that, well, could destroy your confidence. And what I'm talking about is hair loss. Because sooner or later, at some stage in their life, almost every guy ends up dealing with hair loss to some extent. For example, in my family, my dad and my grandfather both suffer from severe hair loss, so I'm pretty safe to bet that I probably will have to face that down the road. And since I'm well aware of this, I like to inform myself with all the information possible and then give that to you. That way, for when I hit that stage or you hit it or are at that stage, you know exactly what to do to make sure you still feel confident and look like a stud. So today, I want to go over the top six mistakes most dudes make once they start dealing with hair loss. The number one thing that I see so many dudes doing is letting their hair grow out. When guys are first faced with the problem of hair loss, their first instinct is to let their hair grow out to cover their bald spots or their fading areas. What ends up happening is that the longer hairs on the side end up weighing down your hair, which just ends up revealing and magnifying the bald spots that are on the top of your head. The best tactic is actually counterintuitive. What you want to do is actually cut all your hair to a buzz cut or something low to even out all the hair and actually disguise the thinning area. However, if you want long hair and not some sort of shortcut, then you can do that too. And look into a serious permanent solution like Bosley and try a permanent hair transplant. Bosley is a sponsor of today's video and honestly, these guys have been in the game for years now and they know pretty much everything that has to do with men's hair loss. Now they have several Several different services for guys so if right now you're suffering with hair loss or have seen the first stages of hair loss you want to act now and do something about it before it gets too late and if it is too late Bosley has like I said a series of services to offer you that doesn't matter how severe your hair loss is there's a solution for you and one of their more popular ones is a hair transplant the best part it's your real hair and it's permanent. What they basically do is harvest hair follicles from your own head, from areas that you have dense hair from, they grab those follicles and put it in areas where your hair is thinning or not growing anymore. Once the fo follicles have been transplanted, your hair will start growing naturally and the before and afters are honestly insane. The craziest part is that it's your own hair and that it's permanent. Now you finally can regain your confidence back and get that luscious hair you want and get the hairstyle you want. And right now, if you want to check out Bosley, click the link down below because right now they're going to give you a free guide that details all the different treatments and options that you have available to you, which would be great for you to actually go in and read because it's tons of information. And on top of that, if you do want to try this hair transplant treatment, once you've done your research and really read into it, they're going to offer you a $250 certificate on one of your treatments, which is a lot of money. So if you're starting to exceed hair loss, don't do what everybody else else doesn't just let your hair grow out and leave those areas thinning because it's gonna just make the problem worse. Instead, make a change and take action. Go into Bosley, go for a consultation and speak with a professional that can give you all these options and tell you what to do to make sure you can salvage your hair. The second mistake I see so many dudes doing is just packing on too much hair product. When your hair starts thinning and losing volume, it's easy to think that packing on thick amounts of product will give you back the volume that you want and also make your hair look thicker. However, the issue of thinning hair can actually be magnified by the fact that that thick hair product like a wax is actually weighing your hair down and also separating the thin strands you already have that just puts a highlight and a focus on the fact that your hair is falling out. So make the most of the few strands that you do have and instead use a light product. The light product will do a better job of giving you back that lost volume but also avoiding your hair strands to separate. The third mistake so many dudes make and you're probably making right now is they don't take vitamins. You see the food that we consume is a natural source that we take all the vitamins and minerals from. But on average almost every guy doesn't get all the daily nutrients they need just from the food that they're eating. And for your hair to grow strong and healthy you want to make sure you're fueling your body properly which is why you should be taking a multivitamin every day and if your focus is hair growth you should also add a, vi a vitamin B or biotin into that daily intake. Number four, using a hair dryer incorrectly. So many dudes, once they start learning how to use a blow dryer, what they'll do is blast the blow dryer as close as possible to the cranium, trying to make the hair straight and get max volume. When you start holding a hair dryer so close to the scalp and on high heat, you start burning off the roots and your hair will start falling out. When you do use a hair dryer, what you want to do is keep it at least eight inches from the scalp and also on medium heat to avoid maximum damage. Number five, you need a stop over brushing, especially when your hair is wet because here is 
where it's more delicate and fragile. It's prone to all sorts of breakage and whatever little hair you got since it's falling out, you want to protect as much as you can and doing this is something you're definitely going to want to avoid. The best way to dry and untangle your hair is avoid that brush that causes all the pulling and tearing and instead grab a t-shirt that has low friction, that way you can dry your hair and soak up all the water. Then grab a white tooth comb that's not going to cause any pulling or tugging to untangle your hair and keep it healthy. Finally, number six, the worst mistake you can do when it comes to hair loss is nothing at all. Most guys see their first signs of hair loss around their mid-twenties. On average, that's the statistic. And what happens is that they just end up ignoring that, the fact that they're losing hair until it's too late and their male pattern baldness is severe. Don't be most guys and make a difference. So if you're starting to see your hair fall out, protect your hair, protect your confidence, and make sure you look like a stud, and go check out our sponsor Bosley. It's gonna change your world. And that's basically it for me in today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and it actually helped you out. If it did, don't forget to drop us a like down below and share this video. That way we can help other dudes that are suffering from male pattern baldness. Let's try to make all dudes look like studs for 2019. But all in all, that's it for me in today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out our sponsor. They're gonna be linked down below. That's it for me today. See you next time.